This is the Muddy Fox RBS 100 men's cycling shoes. Um, I haven't actually ridden in these yet. As you can see, they're, they're, there's no uh, there's no signs of them even getting dirty yet. Um, but for, I've tried them on in the house because um, I got back late tonight, so I haven't had a chance to use them. Uh, this is where you should. These will clip into your pedals. Um, they're pretty solid. Um, they're very very light. Um, the the they're pretty expandable as well. You know, it, what it's got is this this velcro across here, and if you look if you look inside, there's an elastic in there. So the I'm normally a size nine, but I got a nine a nine and a half for these um, because I know a lot of the time shoes these days, especially they're coming out of China, are narrow fit. I've I've got quite big feet. Um, broad feet, should I say, because I'm a size nine, but a lot of the time I find trainers are too narrow here because they're more of a Asian design and size. Um, they're not designed for my broad feet, um, but it cost me 25 quid. Um, were, were they worth the money? Yes, Ex very good price. Quality is good. You can see the stitching is pretty good on these as well. They're not cheap and nasty. Um, the even you know everything's pretty solid. It's well made. Um, I recommend them if you're cycling. Good pair of shoes to start with um, because I know a lot of people spend a lot of money on their cycling and stuff and may find that after a few months they go on to something else. Well, for 25 quid you can't really go wrong. Um, but if you spent 100 quid on a pair of shoes, maybe you'd be a bit gutted that it's um, you spent so much and then decided that cycling wasn't for you. So it's a good start, a pair of shoes, 25 quid, bargain.